Hey guys, Tatrap here bringing you a 4v4 today. We are on Monte Carlo. If today spawning on the left, Google Translate tells me this is I'm really not a donkey. And with Wehrmacht. I'm gonna get him up here. Looks like he's gone for he might tell me here anyway. Italian coastal. Breakthrough four on Iris. Africa core here. This is eh eh. Unselected currently. And Italian combined arms for Ashko Dismas. Opposing them, we have Anal Asthma. Is it a choice? I think it is. Uh, Airborne, Atlantis, US Forces Unselected, ALT with Brits, Aaron C and not Emily Willis, going for armored as US Forces, MG42 and crew got the available. rankings up, uh, yeah so here is 118, 28, 148, 60, up against 27, 61, 9, and 409, but I've been told this is a smurf. So yeah. Italian infantry are ready to serve. Okay. 250 coming in, chasing away a couple of squads. I don't think I've. They've made some changes to this map, right? I don't think I've cast any games on it since those changes. Circling that position, we've got a couple of coastal and a machine gun coming up there now. Infantry are in reserve. They await deployment. MG on MG action in the middle, but an early mortar out here for purple. HQ shall be receiving medics to heal. Hold our out behind heavy cover down the bottom there, but the flame is about to pop. I need the grenades. MG gets decrewed over here by that mortar. Very close range, incredibly tight scatter, but AT rifles come in. Get a good volley off, jumps out before the 250 goes down. Upgrade complete. So, a couple of squads going to try to get around the side of this machine gun. More coastals coming in, but more riflemen coming in as well. Right out the back here, doing some harass. Up to run in. Yeah, has to give up that. Oh boy, but that's a bad path. Oh yeah, the pathfinding sometimes on these ultra lights not very good. Ends up getting AT rifle down. New ability online. Very hard to control though. Those they always seem to spin around and do unpredictable things this match. Just using this in recon mode out the back now after the we start. Have territory cut off from supply. Decent dodge on the grenade. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Sector lost. The flamethrower is really slow to start firing there. I don't know what happened. That's a late victory retreat though. Section in some trouble. Can survive. Ooh, big mortar hit. Can survive though. Frontline medical station. Oh, we what, what's called? I forgot what it's called for Brits, but from the air and sea battle group. Looks like a good win in the north for Atlantis. Max is kind of uh, getting forced back here. Still reasonably strong in the middle. Grenade into the retreats. Gets one squad. Weakens the other. And gets that two. Gets the flamer as well. Big moose there for not Emily Willis. Take 
turning to the north now, the red player. Getting mortar up for Atlantis in the north there as well. Oh, I didn't notice that, but there's the officer back there. damage to himself there. Point is under attack. We must act. Okay, transition into an assault green. Doesn't quite suppress there. Try to do some harass, but there's a scout back there. Can't succeed. Tries to flank, but the machine gun is actually doing a pretty good job here. And the mortar has been forced off. So full retreats there, easy territory gains now for red. Might just be a good idea for the purple player to bring their stuff up here. Man down. Do some capping with the kitten. Okay, reinforcement half track for Atlantis. Us, no, it's going to be upgrading to the quad. This is quite late. You'd expect to see this around four and a half minutes. Enemy on the late side. Something calling here for Ashco. Oh, boy. Captain's in some trouble. Coastals are atrocious on the move, though. Oh, gets a snare off there, wow. That might be the end of the quad before it can even do anything. He's putting a second half track. Not quite enough damage. This one's also upgrading to the quad. I mean, that's a big investment into quads. Especially we're at the timing where... Core players are often getting some uh, light vehicles cooking. Can decimate the quads. Probably should be a 75 mil. Dodge on the grenade assault. Got a chaffy out already for not Emily Willis. Fighting strongly here. That flamethrower, a real asset. Guess the assault green wipe as well. Out the back, forcing away the machine gun. Ooh. Just survives with that scout. Needs some repairs out the back here. Jeffy goes chasing, knocks out the 250. Ripped and doing well through the middle. Okay, Caro coming in for Ashko. Didn't see any L6s though. Max is capping in down the bottom now. Chaffee going roaming, looking for opportunities. May want to wait until he's got a second car before re trying to. Okay, he's gone for early rapid advance here. That's interesting. Okay, Werble coming in. Purple. Commander, we've lost the sector. For three Jaegers. T gun looking for the Greyhound here. Another half track. So two quads uh, healthy. What's this one going to be? They've pushed us off a sector. Might just be for reinforcements this time around. Okay, two caros together now. We've got a martyr joining in. A werewolf. Looks like the axis are ready to hit hard. At least do have a couple AT guns laying around. A lot of shop blockers through this area. It does make it awkward to use the AT. A second Chaffee from not Emily Willis. Maybe clearing off that. 
mild damage from that grenade assault. Oh! Good time to pounce there. Finds the Marta. It's too slow rotating. Goes down a bit of uh, Shrek action in there. As the Chaffee's a little bit low. The Karo did damage. Didn't go in for the kill on the Greyhound. There is an AT gun and a lot of riflemen back there now as well. Okay, the bunker's starting to get going. Looks like this is a mid bunker. Double quads rolling in here. Oh, there's an AT gun back there. Oh! And the officer's artillery knocking that out. I'm surprised the AT had uh, an angle up there with that cliff. There's another point upgrade with the medics there. An alternative for the retreat point. Caro's tagging in and out, doing some capping. A centaur from LT. A lot of Shrek damage has to back away. It's one thing about the uh, centaur, it's got low range, so it's either firing at a Jaeger Shrek, it's in firing range in return, unlike a lot of other tanks. So you do take a lot of damage to try and shoot at Jaeger Shreks with it. Okay. Time fuse trying to knock that out. Seems like the uh, coastal blob's starting to get rolling though. Territory sector claimed Mr. Panzergreen in there now. Chaffee's going uh, hunting again. Did they knock something out? Looks like it. They pushed us off a sector. More and more caros coming in. See the Axis off to a bad start in terms of victory points. But they are starting to amass a decent number of vehicles. Feels like maybe they haven't been utilizing them to the fullest extent though. Could have been getting more damage done. The captain and his teammates healing base here, that's interesting. Motorized assault teams are ready to deploy. Oops, coming in, looking for an angle, looking for some damage. Hasn't been that much action so far. More and more chaffies for not Emily Willis. Was ready to come back in. Here we go, Chaffee's going hunting. There's only one Shrek back here. And it misses. Oh, five Jaegers. Here they all are out the back. Okay, Karo's heading to the bottom now. Oh, the Chaffees are away. The Chaffees are coming down. And the Karo's have a good number of upgrades on them though. Enemy movement near victory point. So they can probably survive quite a lot of damage from the Chaffees. Nearly knocks one out there both directions. It's got another car coming in now. The Chaffees moving in but I was not expecting that. section. I don't know where it's going, but it's marching to its death. Not the best control there. They deployed a pack alley, uh, Atlantis. Make use of it. Hellcat coming in for adult asthma. Incoming. We have vehicles ready to be dispatched to the front. 
Still the Axis, they're struggling to break through on the victory points. Getting some decent kills, but these guys seems uncomfortable using them in anything but a full blob. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be light vehicle blob v blob. One drawback of the style, you know, no engineers for like a little bit of extra repairs on one that's extra low. Okay, here we go. Here comes the Chaffee train. Getting a few hits here. Marta's coming down as well. The Jaeger's coming in from the bottom, but they're running into a bunch of bars and machine gun that does not work. The purple. And the allies managed to sneak onto the VP. They've knocked out a couple bunkers there with the constant barraging. A lot of that from the pack, Howie. Looking for the kill. Conciliary, don't get it. Jeffy Train's coming back in. Marta's coming down here now again. Five Karos, they're coming in. A little bit of infantry to do some spotting. Spreading your damage all around. Here comes the Karo train. Jeffy's on the back foot. Karo's the first to fall. And they are going for it. Pretty even trading, but it seems like the Karo's are pulling ahead. The Marta joining in as well, assisting for a few shots. Now they're trying to extract themselves. Could catch a bunch of riflemen on retreat as well. Hellcat goes in, knocks out the martyr. We have 75 points remaining. I think it might have been worth just chasing these squads down to base for looking for squad wipes. Probably could have got three of them. The Cows trying to extract themselves now. Oh! Long range sniper there. Down to just four Karos after all of that, but all of the uh, Chaffees pretty much did as well. So the Werble came up to the top, and that was enough to overwhelm Atlantis. Was lacking anti-tank for sure. There's the tank depot coming in now. Going to be able to rectify that shortly. Got a Matilda out for Ilti. Oh, that's a 17-pounder there. Car is... appearing up, capping up. 62 points left for the Axis. They did get very low. Side skirts coming in for red. Getting one resource cache out the back there as well. Ooh. Okay, very low there for adult asthma. The bar rifleman running over the top of the Jaegers. Don't know if you need to retreat there with the rest of the Jaegers arriving. Maybe could have fought 5v3. Troops here. Karo's staging down the bottom. More and more chaffies. Mass raids forcing the Jaegers off the middle. A lot of Axis troops though coming down from the north for red. A mid bunker up here. It doesn't really have this well protected though. I thought he'd have a bunker up at least. Tilda out here. 
blasting away. We've got two martyrs out the back for orange. Might need to inch those into a fighting position. Heading up to the north now, red player again. Just to rebuild here reasonably effectively. Got a Panzer IV coming up though. That will overrun this easily. A lot of cash is down for the Allies. And there's that 17 pounder. Keeping the cars at bay. Double Chaffee's rolling in behind that. Chaffee's meeting stern resistance. There's a lot of Karo's missing shots though. They're making their move. They're going in. Seems like that 17 pounder might have got two at once there. I see that right. Here comes the Hellcat train from Adult Asthma. Big move. All three Allied players got tanks down here. And they knock out both martyrs. So then a uh, few Karos going down as well. That 17 pounder just in a great position at the edge of range. Karos backing away now. Hellcat's looking for opportunities to kill. Overall, I think that was pretty good trading for the allies. The uh, Matilda's soaking up a lot of damage. Allowing the squishy units to uh, get some good hits in. The 17 pounder doing some big damage from out the back, but here we go, big move. Jaeger's decrying two AT guns over here. Could steal them or could kill them. Gotta go for the kill option. Rubble's up there as well. Axe is capping here. Allies capping in the north. Maybe a bit too tunnel vision, focusing on the fights and steal the victory points here. North, the red player. Hellcat train rolling again. When you're stealth like this, you can't cap. Chef is coming in. Arrows are down here, they're healthy. There you go, Shrek Blob coming through. Matilda gets very low. Main Barrage coming in. Here comes the Karos again. Oh, they're like race cars, they're so fast. Peel off, go for the British infantry. He has to cancel his retreat point. Lucky to survive with those. Nexus have managed to cap again in the north. Panzer IV just devastating. So late. Atlantis getting a anti-vehicle counter. And losing the mid truck there now as well. That's bad news. Did manage to recrew the machine gun just before that happened, however. Allies did manage to regather the middle. Need some repairs on that Werbel. Yet another car up. Oh boy. Hellcat went down, I'm guessing, to the AT gun. Not good for Atlantis in the north. Okay, here comes the car train. So many. Go to finish this off once and for all. Layer upon layer of 17 pounder back here. You sipate them in. Not many mines going down from the allies, must be said. Do have quite a few engineers laying around. Here comes the chaffees. They pop their speed boost. They're going after the martyrs. One down. One hits a mine though. The cars are rotating back across looking to punish this move. We gotta knock out one Chaffee. Hey, Chaffees are still rolling. I wonder if they're gonna go for this Werbel here. Jaeger Shrek coming in. Yep, they do go for the Werbel. Oh! Dark Panther and crew not responding. 
And there goes the other chaffy, unable to escape. Got a carpet bombing coming in out the back here, going after the needle with it. Looks like the Axis are going to be able to get out of there in time, but they have left the south open with only 24 points remain. The Karos are coming back down that direction now. 64 population entirely of Karos. 21 points left. Axis going for the middle and the south. 17 pounders wheeled its way in. Recruit now. But the Karos are not going in for the early cap here. They've left the points open for such a long time. Here come the Hellcats. Combining up with the 17 pounder. They're going for the cap now, but this is not working. What are they doing? They're just AFK. The fight through the middle, not going too well for the Jaegers. They mash retreats. They need to stay in there for the cap. And the Karos don't know what to do here. They need to fight. Seven points left. What are they doing? Attack rounds. They get the kill. They open up the cap now. AT Loiter coming through, forcing back the Hellcats. They stop the clock there. Three points. He does have the fast capping, thanks to uh, Italian Combined Arms. Being close to a vehicle. Fast cap. 17 pounds getting a couple shots in there with the recon plane running. Here comes a Panzer IV train now. A big infantry blob in the, to the retreat path. They're coming down, they find a Hellcat back here. Grip player coming down. Knock out the mid truck there. Three points remaining. So the Karos were making some moves that most of them are quite low now. Be about rebinding your control groups, taking like the four healthy ones, giving them a one control group there other low health ones, putting them to another, leaving them out the back. So I don't think you can afford to just sit out the back and wait for everything to be healthy. Panzer fours roll through, going after the bulldozer. Does lose one P4 in the process. Oh no! He's left the capture circle. The uh, flame barrage there knocks out the machine gun. Two points left. They lost control of the south. The Karos did just back away for mass repairs. Signal the retreat. And the Axis lose. Oh, man. I think the Axis were in the winning position there in terms of army sizes and what was going on. But just not enough urgency when it came to the victory points. Throughout basically the whole match, but especially at the end. You know... <laughs> When you're down to like 25 VPs, you can't be afford, afford to like retreat with your three-quarter health Jaegers just because they're in front of a bulldozer, Sherman, you know? Got to battle for those victory points, and they did not do that. End up losing because of it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, the allies, they did a pretty good job countering them. Needed more mines down for sure against the Karo Spam. I don't think we saw almost any mine sound from the Allies whatsoever. But, you know, the Chaffee Spam, it kind of works okay-ish, but unfortunately, once the Karos get all those health bonuses, the Chaffees, they do okay, but it's not a good trade for the Chaffees anymore, you know? But you are relying on the cheaper costs from uh, fielding them through Armoured. They also come cheaper with Italian Combined Arms, so... But yeah, a decent 17 pounder action. The Matildas were okay, you know, soaking up the damage as they needed to. Atlantis in the north really needed way more anti tank far, far earlier. Super exposed and just hard lost the north because of it. No anti tank. But yeah, the Jaeger blobs seem to work fine. Maybe a little bit too conservative with them. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Good job there from the Allies. Able to 
close out the game because of their more aggressive capping on the victory points. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If like or can be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.